Hey guys, this is an estimation non-calculator question. Uh, looks quite nasty, but it's actually quite doable, but you need to be really careful and really, really think about what you're doing. A cylinder of liquid strontium has a density of 6.98 grams per centimetre cubed. The cylinder has a radius of 5.2 centimetres and a height of 0 0.1975 metres. Find the mass in kilograms. Now for this we need a couple of formulas and you'll notice there are a couple of odd units in there. So the formulas that we are going to need are... that density is mass over volume and the volume of the cylinder is a pi r squared height. So first of all, let us work out the volume of the cylinder because you'll notice that we have the density and we need to find the mass and the only thing we're missing for this is the volume. So let's work out the volume of our cylinder. So pi we know is 3.14, r we know is 5.2 and h is 0 0.1975 meters and our radius in centimeters and our um, density is in centimeters as well. Now since this is an estimation question what I'm going to do is round this slightly so I'm going to take pi to be 3 I'm going to take the radius to be 5 and then I'm going to convert the um, 0.1975 meters into 19.75 centimeters and then I'm going to take that as 20 centimeters since it's estimation. So what I have is 3 times 5 squared, which is 25, times 20. So I end up with 75 times 20, giving us an answer of 1,500 centimetres cubed. So that is our volume. Now we know what our volume is, we can work out what the density is. We know that density is mass over volume. We want to find mass, so we can say that density times volume equals mass. We know that our density from the question is 6.98. We know our volume, we've just worked that out, was 1,500. Um, so I'm going to take 6.98 is 7, times that by 1,500, giving us... 10,500, now we need to think about our units here, this is in grams per centimetre cubed, this is in grams, not grams per centimetre cubed, sorry, in grams, and it wants the answer in kilograms, so to turn grams into kilograms, we need to divide that by 1,000, giving us an answer of 10.5 kilograms.